Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 8 of Ark Survival Evolved on Valgaro. And I had to run into some trikes. I was uh, harvesting wood with my camera source and yeah, didn't see the trike until I hit it. So, yeah. Turns out that trikes actually can't really hurt a camera sore. <laughs> so, hello hammerhead. It was kind of interesting. The uh, the trike has that, or not the trike, the, uh, the camera sword has that back kick. And it knocks the trike, I mean, pretty far back. Really? Look at you. Alright, moving on. Uh, Anomalocar or Anomalocaris. Basically, an anomaly shrimp. Alright, let's go ahead and get some more air. And there are tons of jellyfish in here, too. And not necessarily a bad thing, honestly, so. A little bit of an obstacle to watch out for. Also, I am cold. And that's a dire wolf pack right there. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to shore right there. So, let's come further down here. I do love how fast she is in the water, though. Alright, so... Uh, let's see, we got a couple trikes. Not gonna worry too much about them. You know, honestly, I should just do this. And... Are there any mammoths around here? There's dire wolves. Uh, level 224 mammoth. Perfect. I will uh, I'll definitely add that to my collection without a problem. Okay. Can we... Uh, there we go. Make it up the cliff, okay? Yeah. Hi. Um, Saber-toothed tigers don't care about raptors. Okay, cool. Very good. Hello, are you it? Are you my new soon to be buddy? You are, look at you. Let's take out some trees here so I can better uh better angles. Better angle of attack here. Um Alright. Uh, oh, perfect. Uh, except for that part. Hi. Um, I would not mind having a wolf pack, but they're going to be a little hard to... Oh, there's an Argentavis down there. Being savaged by wolves. Why are you up here then? Dude, go down with your buddies. Alright, let's try it again with... There we go. Okay, the mammoth is uh, dealing with the wolves right now. Right. Um, ow! Fall damage. Not good. Let's go keep an eye on things down here. Two tiger. I went down too far too, didn't I? Whoa. Just throw me right off the cliff, why don't you, game? Hey, free prime. Don't mind the video. Okay, and Kylosaur. There's a one. Get that tree out of here too. And we left behind a, a thing, huh? I'll take the arrows and I'll just pitch the rest of the stuff on the ground so it despawns quicker. Alright. Now that my mammoth is safe, ish. Uh 
Come on. Get out of the rock. There we go. Now, the hard part is about... Ah, dang it. Dude, this would be a lot easier if you weren't right here. This is... Mammoths take a lot of tranking to put down. Dude, I'm shooting you in the nose. Go down. I know some of these arrows are getting stuck in the tusks, but it still counts, so... Honestly, I should just sit here with the, this, you know, mouse button held down. I just auto-fire as soon as I get the crossbow ready. So, I cut the video and, like, the next shot, it started running away. I need to find a good crossbow. I really do. Unfortunately, the way to do that is alpha, you know, taking out alphas. You can sometimes find a really good, like, crossbow blueprint, and I think it's a yellow, yellow drop. I don't think he was close to going down. I think he just decided that, hey, I can't reach this guy. I'm going to walk away. And since I kept shooting him, he decided he's going to try to come back and get a piece of me. Might be doing it again. Although, mm, that's, a, that's a lot of trank arrows in this guy. So he probably is almost down. Oh, missed that one, huh? Alright. Oh, you are down. Sweet. Here. You take that. I'm gonna hop back on here. That way, if need be, I can protect you from anything. Oh, there's a lot of mammoths around here, too. Something's attacking the Brontos. Okay, it's just an Kylo over that way. Is that a freaking terror bird? No, it's a wolf. I have a feeling it was attacking the Kylo and uh, accidentally hit the Pronto too. Alright. 1.5%. Oh, this is going to take a long time. Well, this is going to be a long cold night. Uh, it's up to 13% and the sun's starting to go down. And it's already getting cold, so... Uh, campfire. What am I missing? Nothing. Okay, cool. Alright. You come here. So I need more trees because I took down all the ones in the area when I was clearing out a space to fight this guy or to, well, trank it. There was something dead in the bushes. Okay. Here, just go ahead and one more. Okay, just want to make sure I have enough wood to last the night. All right, back we go. I already can't see. There we go. There's my campfire. 
toss some wood and thatch in there. It's going to start burning the thatch first, I think, but oh well. I'm no longer cold. However, I may end up getting thirsty before this night's over with. Yep, I'm cold now. Yeah, because it's, it's nighttime. Here we go. If I stand here, though, I should be fine. Uh, let's see, my hypothermal insulation's 187. That bumped it up to 192. So, another 5 points insulation. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Level 48. Australivinator. Irritator saddle, okay. Hey, cool, finally fabricator, you know, electronics, polymer, all that fun stuff. Metal ingot and silicon pearls, that's not bad actually at all. Cementing paste and obsidian, that's kind of a pain. This is the cementing paste part of it, honestly. Even next to the fire, I'm cold. Oh, there we go. Just stay pretty close to the fire, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to be stuck here all flippin' night, aren't I? Hello, Mammoth. Don't mind me. Just uh, keeping an eye on your sick buddy. Yeah, he's not feeling too good. So He, she, she actually. And you're at 19.2%. Alright, what do we have in the area? Anything to worry about? Um, some dire wolves. High level dire wolves, too. Great. And some saber tooths. Two saber tooths, two dire wolves, or three dire wolves, so. Uh, that's, yeah, that's probably the ones I passed on the way up here, and they're, they're actually a good distance away. Oh man, there's a red beacon. Good lord. Alright, I'm going to stand right next to the fire then. Uh, I still can't... Uh, yeah, I've got seven levels to go before I can get yellow. Red, I think, is 65. So, yeah. I've got a little ways to go yet. But, let's see. Yeah, and there's not even anything I can craft to pass the time, really. That's a uh, slight bit of a downer. You've got fiber, hide, a little bit of keratin. Tiny bit of keratin. Yeah, no. Nope. Great, I'm just going to be looking at the Northern Lights for the next oh, 10 minutes or so. Alright, just kind of checking in here, and I went back home and got some saber root. And it turns out that major berries do 1.2. Saber roots do 1.9. So, yeah. Maybe a preferred food according to the wiki, but it is still... Still kind of painful to, to do, really. The only saving grace is the... Uh, the mammoth loses food fairly quickly, which it really helps. It really does. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think uh, it eats a saber root every 50 food. So since last time I checked and now it's eaten one and it's getting ready to eat another one. So at least the food drains pretty quick, but my god. <laughs> yep, there it goes. Just ate another one. We're up to 63.9%. Hooray! Almost two-thirds of the way done. Just been picking stuff. I decided that uh, I wanted a bunch of hot dogs, so I made some hot dogs. But this takes too much longer. I'm going to have to go find some water. I mean, I think it eats berries every 30 food. Yep. So actually, berries would probably still be quicker because of the just how little difference there is between the berries and the saber root. Yeah. Well, let's see what else can I make in here. Uh, this stuff, unfortunately, anything I make here doesn't actually give you experience, it looks like. Uh, let's have some donuts. I 
And we'll just go ahead and pick that up. And we'll put like the wood back in there. So if need be, I should have enough enough wood to make it through another night. I'm really hoping it doesn't come to that, but it's looking like it might. My luck, this you know, this lady here will tame oh right about let's say probably a minute or so after the sun sets. And then I'm gonna be stuck here anyway. But I'll come back whenever she's uh, she's awake and ready to go. Finally, though, we're almost done. Ninety-seven point nine percent. Basically, two more feedings. I am not looking forward to having tame another mammoth. Actually, here, that's right. You got a lot of berries on you too, so I'm gonna toss toss these in there. I think. So I'm probably going to be taking the uh, the mage berries back. So, oh, one more feeding. Oh, thank God for that. So, that's eight. Locks down to two. So, awesome. Cuts wood down to a quarter. That's pretty damn amazing there, actually. She's very green, though. You notice that? Like very very green, like you covered in like moss or something, or algae or something like it. Yeah, algae like a giant sloth, or like a not a giant sloth, or like a uh, like a tree sloth. You're up, finally. Your name is Bertha. Big beautiful Bertha, level three thirty five, and let's see, eight thousand health, nine ten weight, five eighty six melee. 26,000 food. That was not great. And we're just going to pick you up and and you can sit on my shoulder. That would be kind of cute having an elephant that size, though, wouldn't it? Alright, let's get out of here. And pretty much everything that was in the area just kind of like walked away, so... Well, the dire wolves got killed. And everything else just kind of wandered away for the most part. Okay. So I'm not too scared of the dire wolves one-on-one. -on -one. When they start getting the pack bonus, that's when there's going to be an issue. And... Well, that's an eighth evenator. Thank God it's not coming after me, though. I think I can outrun it, though. Or at least outrun it long enough for something to uh, distract it. And over here, there at one point in time, was a metric Kansasaurus. Which is mm, about an Alsor sized predator. But let's see. Huh? That parrot is still there. You're stuck in there, aren't you? Because, yeah, this is where, yep, my other raft is. Do I want to bring it back? Uh, probably. Can I do this, though? Uh, nope. I cannot pick up the raft. Okay. Uh, it does need to be repaired. I could always just demolish it, though. It was destroyed, and I did not get anything back from it. Oh, well, that's a shame. Then I should have just left it behind. Oh, turtle. And actually, that's where it starts getting a little bit nasty, so we're going to take to the water, I think, for, me, for now. Hmm. 
Let's see. Yeah, holding shift actually does make a difference underwater, doesn't it? Yeah, let's get up on the surface here. Get some air. Get our bearings in. There's my island right there, actually. Yeah, that sounds about right. And there's a blue drop on the, uh, this island here. Oh, Belagornis. Okay. They do occasionally come to shore, so. Uh, what do we got? A compass blueprint? Okay, cool. And metal door frame. And the other things are just to, to make boss summons, pretty much. Let's take... Because it's deep right here, right? Deep-ish. There's three oil nodes right there. There's another one right there, too. Awesome. There's a lot of oil right here. Sweet. And we got some friendly orcas. I hope they're friendly. Pretty sure the hammerheads are not outright aggressive. There's two of them right here. Uh, no, they're not. Okay. Cool. Outright aggressive, anyway. Pretty sure that they'll uh, defend themselves if I try attacking them. Hmm. Yeah, ruined house up here. Which means my house is right here. That's gonna hurt. No, I actually didn't. Sweet. Hey, guess what? You're free, Bertha. Uh, inventory, please. I want that. Thank you. It does make it a lot easier to bring the animals back. Oh my god, it makes it so much easier. Also, Mammoth Saddle. Okay. For one, you're not going to follow me anymore. You're going to stay where I leave you. Okay, you already feel faster than the camera sore. Already quick taking quicker at taking the trees down too. And yep, here's trouble where you know you got tucked out of the way, so I don't have to worry about you anymore. Uh, pretty good at getting berries, uh, no fiber. Oh well. Bertha can at least speed herself, so I mean, that's a good thing. And let's see. drop up ahead. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you do have the ground stomp, don't you? Does that harvest stuff? All around you. Wow. Let's go back to the house now. Uh, I've had fun, you know, massacring trees. Uh, one more stop. Kind of got all turned around there, didn't I? <laughs> if I'm not careful, she'll push trees over too. All right. Alright, that was just finger twitch. Alright, so you need up with four levels. Alright, let's get your... Uh, yeah, wait over a thousand works. <laughs> four thousand wood. Alright, cool. 
There we go. Hop on the raptor so you don't take fall damage. And... Let's put the wood away. Thatch, fiber. Uh, campfire. I'll put the blueprints in here too, I think. Yeah, wood. I did end up making a, a bunch more arrows and a few more spear bolts too while I was over there. I was just desperate for something to do at that point, honestly. Let's see, how many narco berries are in here? 700. Yeah, no, we're gonna convert about, about half that into into narcotic. Alright. As right, let's go. Probably should be careful about doing that because I don't want to hit like the end of the Bronco's tail or Bronto's tail and have it come after me. So where did I see that pink? Ah, here it is. I almost said pink drop. Purple. What do we got? We have a well, water well, ladder blueprint, and journeyman chitin boots. That was a good drop. I like that drop. All the berries and fiber. Fiber's like always the worst thing to get early game too. Especially up until you get a sickle because you gotta go get it all by hand. I mean, unless you were lucky enough to get a moss chops, like, nearby. But I haven't seen any of them yet, so... Uh, yeah, we're gonna... Let's just grab everything... ...but the meat, I think. I know I'm encumbered, I don't care. Uh... Yeah. 800. Not bad attack damage. Yeah, it's a lot of berries and stuff. Alright, so we're looking at 60, yeah. So we're up to 16,000 fiber now. Not bad. Not bad. And let's see. Anything else that goes in into this one? Doesn't look like it. Actually, give me that huge chunk of rotten meat back, and we'll toss it. I don't know. I keep walking right by my mortar and pestle, too. You know what? We'll just do it all. Another 269 narcotic. I can work with this. So what is next, then? Well, what's in the area, right? Mostly water stuff. And there's that Bronto there. <laughs> A lot of coelacanths. Stegosaurus, trilobites. Okay. Yeah, come with me. We are going to go through here. Oh no, I'm cold. I want to do a little bit of exploration through the redwoods, not just around the lake, though. Oh, hi, Megalodon. Hey. Hundred raw fish meat. Not too shabby. Uh, yeah, I want to go this way. Got turned around fighting the megalodon. Yeah, now in the water, this thing is a beast. The only thing I'm slightly worried about are mantas because, yeah, it really, actually, shouldn't be. They're pretty fragile. 
But they can attack... As near as I can remember, they can attack backwards. Let's put it that way. As near as I can remember. Um, let's get you up to like 6,000, I think. And I leveled up to level 49. Uh, yeah, more fortitude. So, let's see. What are we looking at? Uh, electrical stuff. Large metal wall. Baryonic saddle. That's kind of it. Electricity. Oh, that's right. It's almost nighttime, isn't it? Alright, well. Guess let's get a little bit of exploration done. So we're going to go head this way. Uh, if I can find the Scorpionator, then I would like... Kill the Perlovia. Um, I'd like to double check. Oh, hey, second source. Oh, hey, hey. I can, I can tame you. Right. Well, I will come back to that. Honestly, it's there. You are. Right. Oh. Ah. Yep. Need to be level 50. So one more level and I can, I can tame that majestic beast. And let's see. There's got to be a way, like, over this ridge. Here we go. This looks like a good place. <laughs> Ants don't attack raptors. Today I learned. Like, I thought it was like some sort of like weird rare mushroom clump or something like that, so I tried harvesting it and yeah, no, <laughs> it was bugs. What are you? Oh, there's a pair of them. Okay, yeah. Uh, large carnivores, it looks like. Ooh. Oh, this is nice back here. I mean, it's probably hazardous to my health. But... Okay, well, we got saber tooth salmon in there. Oh yeah, that's 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 of no help whatsoever. So can I keep going? No. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm going to explore around for a bit, but at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. Oh, there's another scorpion venator. A scorpio venator, not scorpio. But uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying this series, and until next time, sign signing out, have fun.